Well, there's a long line of tradition uh, of greatness in Argentina tennis, uh, starting with Vilas and even before Vilas, some fancy dancer with the, the hot footwork. I talked to Guillermo and he said that's what got him into tennis was the way tennis players would walk, which led to guys like Guillermo Perez Roldan and Franco Davin and a lot of the other guys, the lefties. Lefties down in Argentina has always been prevalent, but uh, they're always known as being tougher, fear, more fierce, uh, faster, and guys that will play with more heart than pretty much anywhere else. Yeah, how about the guys from now? Like, is there any guys that stand out? That the guys now? Well, you just never know. Between Correa and, and uh, Gaudio and all those guys, you, you never can count out a player from Argentina. I mean, one, at one time, Correa was the, was the Nadal and he was the most feared player in the game. And uh, there's always going to be a guy from Argentina to be afraid of because of uh, just the way they play their style. If they talk about clay court tennis, I want to say the best in the world comes from Argentina. Gabriel That's Sabatini. a sound bite. <laughs> Gabriele Sabatini, what well, do you the, remember or do you have any stories? Or? Well, Gabriela Sabatini, uh, you know, what can you say about her? Probably the hottest female tennis player in the history of tennis. Uh, I had a date with her once, and when she threw all that, that plate of hot spaghetti on my face, my hair never grew back. It was kind of a, a tough situation, but you know, to date an Argentinian, a hot babe like that, takes hard work.